Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Once uh, more people would understand that is this idiot in Ukraine, Zelensky Stein, uh, would like a, a third world war or would like the Americans somehow to and whomever to attack Russia. And the sooner you understand that that's either his uh, assignment or his craziness. And when these guys were going to realize that Zelensky must go, Take him out the way you put them up. Take him out. It was voted. Yeah, okay. All right. Then the better. Because look at this article that I have here where he says that no country in Europe is ready for war with Russia. They shouldn't be. Russia will not attack them. But you hope that they will attack Russia. The sooner these guys get rid of Zelensky, uh, the closer to... Glo not global. Um, regional peace they are. But hey, you have uh, Al Capone who wants a war with Russia and he's going to use you. Al Capone lives far away. His, his country will not be attacked. Yours will be. Let me show you this garbage article. Look in form. This imbeciles. Imbecile. No country in, is Europe ready for war with Russia. Zelensky. Should any country in Europe be ready to fight Russia? Why is that? Why is that? I think this should get this garbage out okay i'm talking about the ukrainians they should take him out they are taking out meaning uh, taking and sending to whatever london uh, jerusalem or fucking or tel aviv or new york these are the three locations he must be sent alive alive that's it and yermak too and all those guys and the ukrainians should own their freaking country and lead their own nation the sooner that the better but you can't, man, you can't. These guys from uh, Al Capone, the guys who are shackling Al Capone, will do whatever they want to destroy you guys. Why? They have only benefits. Tell me what would be one of the, I don't know, uh, the problems or disadvantages if Russia fights Europe. You tell me. What would be? It's going to be a second Marshall Plan and we're going to bring our military industrial complex to fantastic profits. And the banking system. And we're not going to be attacked. No, no, the Russians will not attack. We're going to make sure that we control everything just in Europe. These are the advantages. I don't see any disadvantage if Russia, let's say, fight a conventional war or nuclear war with Europe. You impose sanctions on yourselves at Al Capone's order. What do you want? And you keep doing it. Now you take from your citizens money and give it to the Ukrainians to fight the Russians. The Americans are not doing it right now. They will because the industrial complex, military industrial complex, needs a lot of money to pro provide weapons to whom? To you idiots fighting in Europe. Do you think it's enough how much these guys make profit they make in Ukraine? No, they want more. Bigger the war, more weapons result more uh, profits. Do you think Ukraine is enough? It's never going to be enough. When it's about money, making money, the more money you make, the more you want. That's the greed. No country in Europe ready for war with Russia. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Don't even think like that. But he doesn't care. Do you think that's his people dying in Ukraine? Is that what you think? Do you think so? No country in Europe is ready for a war with Russia. It should stay like this. There should be no war, not even talk about it, either informationally or psychologically. So you want to prepare them psychologically to fight the Russians, ready for a military action? In, 2020, in 2014, our people, no, no, those are not your people. The people that you send them to war and die, yeah, were not ready for war for the rapid occupation of Crimea and Donbass. Over the course of eight years, people have begun to become ready for war, not only in terms of weapons, but in psychologically weapons. And what happens? They're dying. They're dying. The war could have been avoid, avoided, but these guys did not want it. God willing, which one? There will be no new attacks on you from Russia. It won't. And not new attack. It was you because it was ordered by those guys. And what happened? It's like I tell you. Don't touch my wife, I will smack you. Pick, boom. Oh, uh, see? He's gonna smack you too. If you touch my wife, I will definitely fucking smack you. 
All right. <laughs> he never told, don't cross that line. Don't kill our people. Don't destroy them in Donbass. You had Minsk agreements one and two. Implement them. None of those and some of those. I think there is not a single country in Europe today that is ready for an invasion that won't happen. Invasions. Not because we are stronger. So is we. Or better. No. We are all the same. But the Russians are not the same. Russians are some different. So you're the humans and Russians are what? We are all the same. You're, we're not the same. You are definitely not the same. You are the same with the Ukrainians. What are you talking about? We, ha we have had all these years and your country have not. Both psychologically in terms of information, you did not prepare for your people. Your people. So that means propaganda. They didn't get you ready. Ready to say, well, we'll find the Russians. Are you crazy? I understand why. No other wants this. Oh, no. Your bosses and indeed you want that. You want it. That is why, according to him, U.S. senators must understand that the victory over Russia must be a joint effort. Yeah, that's been happening, my friends. So, this is Zelensky for you, telling you that your mass media, our mass, our, the propaganda media, obviously, needs to do a better job with the school, with the Hollywood, with the uh, media, with news and entertainment. They have to work harder to get you ready to accept fighting hot war with Russia, because you will, 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 you will be winning. Now, that's a crime. That guy needs to go out, needs to be. If, if Ukraine, ah, the problem is not Ukraine. The problem is the guys behind United States of America, not the United States of America. The United States of America is used by those guys. Those guys, United States of America, United States of America uses Europe, uses these guys. And there you have it. <coughs> well, I don't know, my friends. Uh, I don't uh, hope to live forever. I would like to live forever on this planet. Not, uh, but, but, but I don't care about that shit. You know, I, I don't care. I would, I would like to live forever. Who wants to live forever? You know that movie uh, with uh, Christopher Lambert? Uh, nobody wanted to live. They wanted to chop their heads so ca they can die. What? It's so much suffering. <laughs> Give me that suffering. Give it to me. Mike, they were, I want the, remember the Highlander? There was the movie. Uh, I want to win the prize. Kerrigan or whatever his name was. I want to win the prize. And the prize is what? Mortality. My God. And I was watching, since I watched that, I was a kid. I was like, this, something is not, not right here. What do you want to die? Anyway, so the same here, my friends. This guy is going to get you to that situation where you are, uh, we are going to expose this uh, garbage. They, they're pushing it. They're pushing it. They're pushing it. We are right now really at the whim of the Russians. And you know what? If the Russians are doing something, they will be blamed forever for dropping those bombs. The United States of America is not blamed forever for dropping two atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki whatsoever. But if the Russians will copy that, you, you will never hear about the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs, ever. You will only hear about the Russians' bombs. Good luck. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.